In this video, we're going to look at a basic introduction to congruent shapes and similar shapes. If you're looking for videos on congruent triangles and similar triangles, please check out my site as this is just a basic introduction with definitions. So let's go ahead and start off with some shapes. In question number one, we're asked to find the two shapes that are congruent or if you like congruent. And in question two, we're asked to find two shapes that are similar. Let's define these terms congruent and similar. If two shapes are said to be congruent, they are identical. So they are the same shape and the same size. If two shapes are said to be similar, they are the same shape but possibly different sizes. So they have the same proportions. So congruent are identical, similar are the same shape but possibly a different size. So let's go ahead now and find the two shapes that are congruent. So which two here are identical? So we've got a range of different rectangles and a square here. And we can see now this is a 1 by 3, a 2 by 4, 1 by 2, 2 by 2, we've got a 2 by 4 and a 1 by 4. So the two identical ones are B and C. It doesn't matter that this, uh, this shape here is on its side and that one's on its end. They are the same shape and the same size. So they're both 2 by 4 rectangles. What we need to do now is find two shapes that are similar. So we're looking for shapes that have the same shape, but possibly a different size. So if we go back to B, we can see that this is a 2 by 4. If we look at this one, this is a 1 by 2 rectangle. So we can see that shape B is twice the size of shape D. So these are similar shapes. So we could say that it could be B and D. We could, of course, have C and D because C is the same as B. And if you like, you could say B and C. They are similar, but they're also congruent. So with similarity, it doesn't necessarily mean they're different sizes, but it's possible that they're different sizes. So the two identical are B and C, and the two that are the same shape, but different sizes are either B and D or C and D. Okay, let's look at some more. So in question one, we're asked to find the two shapes that are congruent. So which two are identical? Well, if we look around now, all of these look like Tetris blocks. I think it's going to be A and D. Again, it doesn't matter that D has been rotated. It would fit straight back on to A. So A and D are the congruent shapes. They are identical. As stated, you can use the word congruent, congruent, however you like to pronounce it. What we're now going to do is find two shapes that are similar. So if we look now, we can have a look around and just looking at our possible options, I think we're going to end up now with the similar shapes being at C and E. So if I look here, this length right here, and we'll just go ahead and do that. So let's grab up the pen. If I think about this length right here, this is going to be two. This one right here is going to be four. So we can again see that there's a scale factor here of 2. E is twice the size. This length here is 2 and we can see that this one is 1. So these shapes are proportional. We can see that this is 1 and this is 2. We can see this length right here is 2. So we hope that this one is going to be 4. We can see that this one here is going to be 1, this one right here is going to be 2, this one is going to be 3, and this one is going to be 6. So we can say that the similar shapes are C and E. So let's go ahead and write that down. So C and E are similar because they have the same shape but a different size. 
So that's all we've done. We've gone ahead. Now you could say that A and D are similar because of course they're the same shape and the same size. But generally speaking, we would call these congruent as they're identical. These are just the same shape, but this is now scaled up. So they're proportional, but have different dimensions in terms of these numbers. So there we go, a basic introduction to the definitions of congruent or congruency and similar or similarity.